Hi, welcome to the PointSense Plant 16.5 tutorial on how to get piping back and forth between Revit MEP and our PointSense Plant product inside of AutoCAD. Now the first thing we need to do is get your catalogs that you want to use from Revit because those will be the patterns that we will be looking for. If you don't have the extension installed in Revit with this PointSense Plant ribbon, then what you'll need to do is go to the export option in PointSense Plant and when you choose this Revit MEP option you'll get a Revit plug-in download. You can click it there to download it from there. It is also located in your install folder but I always recommend to use the download because that will always be the latest version of the software or of the plugin. Now if you do have it, the first step is in Revit, make sure you're in a mechanical template, make sure you have all the parts loaded that you want to find in the point cloud. And in our PointSense plant ribbon, you'll see import, pipes, and export settings. So for now, we're going to use export settings. It's going to offer up all of the families that you have currently loaded. We'll just go with standard here, and then you say export. Now when you do that, it's going to give you or ask you for a file name. So we're just going to say Tutorial Revit Export. You can name this whatever you want. Click Save. Then we're going to go into PointSense Plant and go to Edit KPM. Now in Edit KPM, yours may be blank. Mine was populated just from work I was doing earlier. But you want to go here to say Import Qubit Plant Model. Choose the Revit MEP option. You can see here there's also another link for the download. Say OK. And then we're going to find the file that I created in the earlier step. So when I do that, you can see it has Revit-Standard or whatever else it was called. You also have it in your catalog. And if you are also trying to bring steel over to Revit, you can bring the steel in to the active set as well. We'll cover that in a different video, but essentially you would be using your SDNF export, and that goes directly into Revit uh, by default. So when you're done with that, click OK. And at this point, you're going to use Walk the Run as usual. I won't spend time in this video really explaining that part just because uh, that's the core functionality of PointSense Plant that is explained in the other videos. Uh, but you can see here that it's the same feature. If I want to go this way and find the, the elbow, I can. We're just going to go down this way, make sure we find the elbow. And when I'm finished, we have these objects here. You want to go ahead and do apply constraints just to make sure they all line up. Um, in the case of Revit, in most cases, you can actually use Strategy 1, and you won't have any problem, whereas in Plant 3D, uh, for example, you could typically have problems with water drops. So here I just say Start Apply Constraints, and then when we're finished with that, we're going to go to Export. Then you're going to make sure to go down here to Revit MEP. If you had steel, you also wanted to export at the same time, you can do SDNF, but right now we're just focusing on the piping. So you choose this, say OK. And we're going to choose these objects. If it shows up green, that means they're going to get exported. Say continue. And then we're going to do the same thing where we have to give it a, a file. We'll just call this tutorial Revit import. And then all you need to do from this point is go to Revit. In the same toolbar, you have import pipes. And we need to browse to the file that we just created. And you'll notice here that you can change the pipe type. That's if you were using multiple ones, uh, if you had multiple versions in the KPM. We only had standard, so we're fine here. Say OK. And usually you'll get a message like this where it has open connections. That's because uh, the pipes on both ends of this example were open and not connected to anything. This is perfectly normal. So when you say OK, it usually switches to 3D view. There's my piping, obviously change it to whatever format you're comfortable with uh, as far as visually and then if you highlight the pipe you can see here it is an actual Revit object it's not just a generic standard 
or a generic model.